Clean Energy Summit, Singapore is set to have a new lithium-ion battery recycling facility. These are dead electric vehicle batteries, but a Canadian startup is giving them new life. Basically, batteries in any state can be recycled using this process. Our invention allows us to recycle any kinds of lithium batteries. There are great commodities within those batteries that are fully recyclable. Imagine a world where dead batteries don't just get discarded. They come back to life, even stronger than before. Sounds like something straight out of science fiction, right? But this isn't a fantasy. A groundbreaking A, I, has unlocked a secret that scientists have been chasing for decades. And the solution? Shockingly simple, yet unbelievably cheap. This innovation has the potential to double battery life, revolutionizing everything from electric vehicles to smartphones and even power grids. Elon Musk himself is keeping a close eye on this. Why? Because this could be the most significant battery breakthrough of our time. So why isn't the world talking about it? What are they really trying to hide? Let's dive in and uncover the truth. The battery problem batteries are in everything. Phones, cars, and energy farms. Most use lithium, the gold of energy. But these batteries don't last forever. When they lose 20% of their power, we throw them out, even though they still have energy left. This leftover energy is called dead lithium. Millions of batteries are thrown away every year, causing waste. Recycling is slow and not very effective, and much of it ends up in landfills polluting the environment. Mining new lithium is harmful and expensive. As electric cars and solar power grow, the problem worsens. We're heading into a battery-powered future, but the waste is a growing issue. No one has solved it until now. Why Batteries Stop Working Lithium batteries stop working because of science. Inside, lithium ions move to create energy, powering things like phones and cars. Over time, some lithium ions get stuck and form clumps called dead lithium. This blocks the flow of energy, causing slower charging, less power, and shorter battery life. Sharp structures called dendrites can also grow inside and cause damage or even fires. A layer builds up on the surface, blocking the lithium flow even more. Fast charging and cold weather make it worse. Eventually, the battery can't hold energy like it used to. Engineers tried many solutions, but nothing worked. That's why this new discovery is so exciting. It breaks all the rules. Enter the AI hero. Here's the twist. Scientists tried everything to stop batteries from dying, but nothing worked. Then they used artificial intelligence. This AI is incredibly powerful. It studied molecules and how tiny particles behave inside batteries. What would take humans thousands of years, the AI figured out in weeks. It sifted through data and ran simulations, finding a simple, cheap molecule that seemed too good to be true. This molecule could unlock trapped lithium and bring dead batteries back to life. No fancy tech, just a small compound hiding in plain sight. The AI called it lithium trifluoromethane sulfonate, LISO 2-CF3. Scientists had never seen anything like it. It worked with the battery's liquid to restore energy without causing harm. What seemed impossible, the AI solved quickly. And this is just the start. The breakthrough process. Here's the exciting part. The molecule AI found, lithium sulfide trifluoromethyl, doesn't need any special setup. No new factories or battery redesigns. It just needs a simple injection into the battery's liquid. Once inside, lithium sulfate trifluoromethyl unlocks the stuck lithium and brings the dead parts back to life. A small amount of gas is released, but it's safe. The result is a battery that works again sometimes even better than before. The early tests were shocking. Batteries that should have died after a few hundred charges lasted over 12,000 cycles, more than 10 times longer. And the best part? This works on most lithium-ion batteries already in use, like in electric cars and energy storage systems. This isn't just a theory, it's real. One chemical injection can bring a dead battery back to life, making clean, affordable, long-lasting energy possible. Economic disruption. Here's what this means for your wallet. 
Replacing a battery in an electric car can cost thousands of dollars, and that's a big worry for many people. But with this discovery, that worry disappears. Instead of replacing the whole battery, you can just restore it with a cheap, simple injection, giving it a new life. Big companies spend billions on battery farms to store solar and wind energy. These batteries wear out and are expensive to replace. If they last longer, billions could be saved. It also means less need for raw materials, less pressure on the supply chain, and fewer price hikes from shortages or political issues. Manufacturers may not like it, but for consumers, businesses, and energy providers, this is huge. Electric cars get more affordable, and renewable energy storage becomes cheaper. This isn't just a scientific breakthrough. It's an economic game-changer for the battery industry. Environmental Impact Every year, tons of used batteries pile up. Most still have power, but they're thrown away because they can't hold a full charge. Recycling helps, but it's slow and messy. Some parts can't be reused and others leak, polluting the environment. What if we didn't have to throw them away? This breakthrough lets us give old batteries a second life. By fixing old batteries, we reduce waste, pollution, and the need for mining. It's a win for the planet. Battery factories won't need as much lithium, so fewer ecosystems are harmed, and less carbon is released from mining and shipping. Also, cleaner, longer-lasting batteries make solar and wind energy more reliable, storing power even when the sun or wind isn't there. This isn't just smart science. It's great for the Earth. Rejuvenating batteries could be one of the biggest environmental wins of our time. Roadblocks and Risks This breakthrough is exciting, but there are challenges. Injecting a chemical into a battery sounds easy, but it's hard to do safely and at a large scale. Not all batteries are the same, so more testing is needed. The injection releases a small amount of gas, and too much pressure could damage the battery or cause safety issues. We also don't know the long-term effects. Will the battery stay safe and work well after a few cycles? Researchers are still working on this. Some companies might resist because longer-lasting batteries mean fewer replacements and less profit. Change is always tough, but if it's safe, this technology could change how we use and save energy. The global energy revolution countries are investing billions in clean energy and building large battery farms to store solar and wind power. But batteries don't last long, causing problems. Their power fades over time, making replacements costly and slowing progress in renewable energy. This breakthrough changes that. If we can make batteries last longer, storage will be cheaper, and solar and wind energy can be stored longer, used better, and cost less. This could speed up the shift away from coal, oil, and gas. It also helps developing countries join the clean energy movement. It makes energy more stable, less reliant on fossil fuels, and more secure for everyone. Battery rejuvenation is a major change, pushing us toward a cleaner energy future. The age of disposable batteries may be ending. This discovery could lead to a world where energy lasts longer, costs drop, waste disappears, and fossil fuels fade away. The question is not if, but when. And that future could be sooner than we think.